What is up guys? This is not clickbait. Somebody actually did steal my music. So before I get into that story and you know, like kind of how I resolved it and handled it, um, I wanted to give you guys an update on everything that's been going on musically with me. Um, you know, as far as like recording full tracks. I mean, since I started the YouTube channel, this has kind of been like a really big thing that I've been trying to work up to. And I know that you guys have been, you know, waiting on full tracks for a long time. So this past week, I actually went and recorded with, uh, with Drock and Lil Bird out in Atlanta. I made a trip specifically just for recording. Um, and we got like five tracks done in like two and a half days. Um, one of which is already out on my SoundCloud. So I'm gonna need you guys to go follow my SoundCloud right now. I'll put the link in the description. It's just soundcloud.com slash pat underscore Ryan. Um, there's one up there waiting for you guys right now. And the next one I'm gonna put out is probably my most requested one, which was the one that I did for like the Russ and, and Chance type of beat. So I finished that whole thing, recorded the whole thing, and trust me when I tell you that I truly believe this one's gonna be a hit. Like, it sounds amazing. And right now, there's a clip of it on my Instagram. So it's Instagram, my Instagram is underscore Pat Ryan. At 2,000 likes on that post, I will release it this Friday. We've only got like 250 more likes to go, something like that, so go like that, follow my Instagram, show some love, and you guys will get another track this Friday this week. So going back to the point of the video, um, a couple weeks ago I was on a vacation in Chicago visiting some family and I was checking my email and I got an email from YouTube and basically the email said, um, you know, there's been a copyright claim filed against one of your videos. And when I read that, I'm thinking the only other time that this happened was with the Game of Thrones video, which that was understandable because I literally transcribed, you know, that song almost exactly. So it's like that, that was original music that I put in a, vi a video. Um, but as far as that one, all of my other videos were, you know, completely original. When you get a copyright claim, basically you have to split your ad revenue from that video with the person who claims that you're using their music. So I was like, yo, someone stole my music. I got a copyright claim for it. And now they're going to be making half of my ad revenue from this. So I'm thinking like, what could this be? You know, why, why am I getting this? So I go and I look at what video um, I got a copyright claim against. And it was one of my first videos that I did um, using all logic sounds. So in my head, I'm thinking, you know, like that kind of makes sense because I kind of, I told everybody what sounds I'm using. And basically if somebody wanted to, they can go and recreate that track basically exactly how I did it. So I looked up the song that apparently I had stolen and sure enough, it was, somebody had used, I don't know if they used the, you know, it sounded like they basically just copied the audio that I played at the end of my video and like recorded their own track with vocals over it. Um, so they may have done that or they could have recreated it. I'm not hundred percent sure. You know, I didn't listen to it, you know, that fully, but yeah. So they basically took my music from that video, um, recorded their own track and put it out under the, you know, their own label name um, and distributed it on TuneCore. So it was TuneCore that filed the copyright claim against my video. Because I'm guessing that they have an algorithm that listens to um, whatever is uploaded on their site and they go and listen to you know, everything on the internet to see if anybody's using that music legally. And so that's what had happened. Somebody took my music, published it as their own, and then I ended up getting the copyright claim because apparently I used their music. So at the end of the day, it's kind of funny how that works. But um, yeah, so I was sitting there and this I was at dinner when I saw this email too. So I'm like, shit, I really do not want to get into any legal disputes with somebody <laughs> about this, you know, especially while I'm on vacation. So the first thing I did, which I would recommend to you guys to do if this ever happens to you is see if you can get in touch with, you know, that record label or the person, whoever used your music and try and work it out with them, you know, like personally before you go getting a lawyer involved. Um, although I did like put on Twitter, like, oh, somebody just stole my music and everybody's like, Sue, Sue, whoop their ass. Like all this crazy stuff, like, no. So yeah, I, I found the person who I thought it was and um, you know, I, I sent him a screenshot of their song and I was like, yo, is this you? And right away they were just super apologetic. Like they knew what they did and uh, they knew that it was wrong. You know, they shouldn't have done that. Um, so basically, you know, I worked it out with them personally and I was understanding, you know, I was a young kid, they were like 16 years old or something. So, you know, when you're not that well versed on how the music industry works and what you can and can't do with music online, you know, sometimes they'll do things that you don't really know are right or wrong. So I would suggest to you guys, you know, when it comes to using people's music or from videos, whatever it is, just make sure you have their permission first. 
Um, and if they don't answer you when you ask for permission, just don't use it. Um, you know, you always want to go the safe route because what could have happened, you know, say this, that this kid, you know, spent money on artwork, distribution, even putting it on CDs, which I know not many people do anymore. You know, I could have just let him get all the money from that, you know, start making money off of it and then turn around and sued him and got all that money. And so he would have lost all the money that he spent distributing it and I would have gotten everything, you know what I mean? So it's crazy because a lot of people have told me since the beginning, yo, put tags in the music of uh, at the end of your videos. And I never really did it just because I wasn't too worried about it because if somebody is going to go and steal my music, like I have proof that I made it through video and that's a date stamped, you know? Anything that they would have used would have come after I put that video out. Not to mention that I have the dates on my logic files. Um, so, and, and I think in like 1978, copyright became automatic for like any work, basically music, written, whatever it is. Um, it just can be harder to prove than if you go to the government, you know, copyright.gov, I think is the website and copyright it yourself. Um, so I've never really been worried about it, but you know, I kind of had in the back of my head a feeling that something like this would happen. But um, yeah, I know this is a little different than the videos you guys are used to, you know, me putting out, but I always want like, as my music career continues and good things and bad things happen, I always want to fill you guys in on it. Um, because if you're pursuing a career in music, nine times out of 10, you know, similar things will happen to you. Um, it's just a matter of time. So, you know, take all precautions that you can and uh, you'll just avoid a lot of future potential problems but yeah luckily i got that worked out um the easy way i'm not gonna go putting the kid on blast because he is a supporter he's been subscribed for a long time he's just young and, and didn't know any better um and i use that as an opportunity to kind of educate him you know for the future you know going in his own music career um so if you guys were hoping that this story ended in some crazy legal action it didn't. I'm happy that it didn't because that can take a lot of time and a lot of money and it's a big headache and you don't want to go that route. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys and I thought you might be able to take something away from it. So thank you guys for listening and to wrap this up, make sure you go follow my Instagram. It's underscore Pat Ryan. The, la the very last post that I've posted, um, the track is called Goldfish. Go get that post to 2000 likes and this Friday you'll get the whole thing. I'm going to put it on SoundCloud. I'll put it on, you know, iTunes, Spotify, everything. Um, and also, my SoundCloud currently has a track waiting for you guys to hear. It's Little Bird with me on the second verse. And trust me, I brought the heat. So my SoundCloud is soundcloud.com slash pat underscore Ryan. Go check the track out. I know you guys are going to enjoy it. Um, maybe I'll even play a clip of it at the end of this video. So thank you guys for watching. More videos on the way. I'll be sure to put in work this week. Um, and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah, success weighs heavy on my mind So I got to keep these hits up, got to stay up on my grind Why you asking for features when you used to hate on me? Go back and watch from the bleachers, I move in ways you can't see Young swank, I'm coming up swank. Me and the bird, yeah, we run it up run it Got up, people it that's up. trying to kick it, that back into school was the one that made fun of us I'm trying to get to these charts, man Platinum plaque all in the room